Okay, welcome back everybody. I said that I was going to be doing another tutorial for you guys, and I've actually recorded this so many times right now. I've had to keep going back and deleting stuff, so hopefully I deleted everything. If you guys don't know what's on the screen already, you might want to go back and watch my first Renpy tutorial game thing. I go through everything that you see here for the most part. If you guys have any questions, I will be happy to answer anything that I can. If you guys have any suggestions that you guys want to see me do, you can ask that in the, the comments as well. Um, this is a little bit more advanced. It's not something you would use for every single game that you're making, but it's not a hard thing to do. So don't be shy away because I'm saying it's a little bit more advanced. It's fairly easy, and once you know it, then you know it, right? Let me explain what we're going to be going over, just to make it easy for you guys. So you guys know you can skip using the chapters below. If you don't want to hear about one, and you want to hear about the other, you can skip to make it easy. First two things we're going to go over, and I'm going to put them right together, is going to be how to add a character's name. So say the player wants to type in their own name, instead of the character's name, or they want to name the character in any way, shape, or form. We're going to go over that, and we're going to go over uh, making a password, because those two are very close. So we'll do those two first, and then we're going to do a random word, which is probably the easiest thing. It's not that hard at all to do. Uh, it's not used very often at all. I'm not sure where you would use it. I tend to use it sometimes. I like to do like little Mad Lib things for myself just to have some fun and uh, and that's when I use it myself but you may use it in a game, you may find a place for it so I want to make sure you guys know it if you guys want to know it. Let's get started. Like I said we're going to start with the password and the name thing. Now we're going to start with the password first I think because well actually the name one might be the easiest one. So. I want to first have a different label. So we're just going to have label start game. You can have any label you want. It doesn't have to be that. Just remember to put the colon at the end. Hit enter. It's going to make an indent. And this is where we're going to put start putting the character's name information. So if you want somebody to be able to add a character's name, how you set it up and everything is up to you. You can choose your own graphics and everything that you want. We're just going to be doing this on a black screen. So I'm just going to right now type uh, scene black. And you don't need to actually have a picture called black or have a picture defined for the black screen. If you just say scene black, it just puts a black screen. Okay, so we are going to go through the name part. So I'm just going to put in player name. And this is the one I always use myself, but you can actually put anything you want here. So if you're not, maybe you're not actually doing a name, maybe you want them to name an object that's in the game. You can put that in here. Anything you want in this part right here. And anytime you see this exact word like this, you can put whatever you want in there for the rest of this whole little thing we're going to do, okay? So, equals renpy input, renpy dot input, and then parentheses, quotes, and we're going to put something like, what is your name? We'll just say, that's a very easy thing, but you want to tell the player, this is what's going to show up on the screen, so you want to tell the player what you're actually asking them here, because otherwise it just shows up with a thing to type something in, and they don't know what they're typing in. So you want to put what you want to ask them. So we're just going to say, in this case, we're going to say, what is your name? Question mark, quotes, and parentheses. Then hit enter, and again it's going to stay on that same indent. And we're going to do dollar sign layer na underscore name equals layer underscore name dot strip and 
the parentheses. Again, this can be anything, but it has to be the same as this up here. Okay, same with this here. It just has to be the same as whatever these ones are. Okay. So now we put if layer underscore name equals, this is the two equals, because you're saying if it is equal to something, which you'll see the same type of thing show up um, when you're doing down here. Like anytime you have the if statement, you're always going to have two equals. And sometimes if you notice that there's a problem with your game, go and check and see to make sure that you have two equals. Because sometimes you just put one equals and then that's where your problem comes in. I've had that happen before and then I'm like looking for it and then it's like, oh yeah, it's got to be the two of them, not the one. So... If player name equals, and then we're going to put two print, uh, sorry, two quotation marks side by side. So basically, there's nothing. So if the player just hits enter instead and it just skips, so then we're going to have colon afterwards, enter, because that's like the if statements everywhere else. Then the player's name, then the player name, name equals and then we can put any name you want this is where you just whatever name if they don't have what's a default name that you want to be if the player just doesn't care and they just hit enter what is the default name so i'm just going to put nora in this case because i feel like it and there you go it's really as simple as that now when you want that character to be talked about later on we're going to keep going with this uh, go back down to the, because you are indented here, you need to go back to your indent before. And I'm going to put, uh, oh, shoot, we can actually have the character, oh, and I, I forgot to take this out, sorry. Uh, so you're going to define your character. If this is uh, something that you're actually going to have the character change their name, like it's going to be whatever name the person types in, then you need to still define that character. So I have character P for character is player name. And don't worry about this bottom one here. This will come in the next RenPy tutorial video I do. Don't worry about that. I'm sorry, I forgot to take that one out. Um, but yeah, so then you got to have, and it has to be whatever you put, whatever you put here has to be the same here. And it's got to be within these square brackets. Just like that, okay? And just remember, of course, the letter that you named the character. So now we can have... We can have, let's just have the narrator say it so we don't have a letter in front of it. Say, hello. And then we're going to do square bracket, player, name, close square bracket. And then we're going to have the player say, hi. Okay, simple as that, very, very easy. So I'm going to save this, and because I hit Shift-R in my little uh, game already that I have going, because we're still working on it, not something you want for your final product, but uh, I hit Shift-R, so as soon as I save this, you're going to see the screen flicker in the corner, and that means it's reloaded the script. So save. And flicker, there we go. So let's start the game. Start. So now, see, it's a black screen and it says, what is your name? So we can hit... Actually, let's just let's just do nothing. We're just going to hit enter. So see, it goes right to Nora. Nora is the default name, so it says, hello, Nora. Nora says, hi. Simple as that. Um, here, I'm actually going to bring down the volume so you guys can sort of hear the music a bit. Um, I think because I did take out... I think I took out the background. Because I have seen black again. But it actually should be seen. It should be the scene with LeVar. There we go. And we're just going to skip. This is the one we did in my other video. And uh, so we'll just yell at her because we're mean, I guess. Do you want to play again? Uh, let's say yes. And now it takes you back to the start. I didn't have the stop music. 
probably something that I'd want to actually do. So now let's type in something else because we don't want it to be Nora anymore. We want it to be, let's say, Timmy2. Enter. Hello, Timmy2. Timmy2 says hi. So you can see how this works. Skip. Be nice. Skip. We're going to say no because we're done. I want the music for a little bit. Okay. So that's how that works. Now, very easy to do a password. I'm actually just going to copy and paste this part. So copy, and I'm going to put it after the start menu. There's a re- or not after the start menu, sorry, after the label start. There's a reason for this. Paste. We're going to change everywhere that says player name to password. Again, you can change it to whatever you want. It's totally up to you. Uh, so I'm just going to put password. And this is also to show you guys which areas you can change and which areas you can't. Okay. This is where things get a little bit different. And this is where I figured this part out. Like I said, anyone could figure this out, so I can't claim total knowledge of it, but I came up with this myself, as opposed to looking it up online. But uh, it's just because I had a friend who wanted to have a password for his game, and it's not one that you can get the player to set, I don't think. I guess you could. Um, that would be a little bit more playing around with things to get them to set the password themselves. But... Uh, I just have it normally where the password is a certain thing. So in here, we're going to type the name Simba, capital S. Now remember, it has to be exactly how you want the player to type it. Okay, so if there's a capital, that's got to be a capital. Okay, if that equals that, then you're going to put jump start game. And I think it stays in the same... No, it doesn't. It goes back. So we're going to go back to the first indent here. And we're going to say else. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Why did I even think it would be the other way? Else. Colon, enter. Sorry. You. Oops, here. Oops, this a little bit better. You can't continue the game. Enter, return. Because that's going to take them back to the game, like back to the main menu, because they can't play the game. Okay, we get rid of this part here, it's not needed. So if you guys can see, that's what it's like. We're going to now save it. And I will show you guys real quickly. Oh, something's wrong. Give me one quick second to look and see. Um... Here's an indent problem. Oh, that's why. Because we copied and pasted from before. And it was already indented, so it's going to indent these extra. Which we don't want. I'm going to actually take this one. There we go. You can sort of Tidy it up as much as you want. Bring that up a little bit. There we go. File, save it again. There we go. So now it should work. So sometimes it just needs a little bit of a reboot because it doesn't know. And of course we're going to hit Shift R. So it will reload each time we save still. Let's start the game. It says, what is your name? It shouldn't be doing that. Should oh. Scratch that. <laughs> I know why it's doing that. Let's actually go back. We're going to go to the main menu real quick. And because up here I have what is your name, we don't want that. We want it to say what is the password. What is the password? File, save. It's going to do its little flicker. There we go. Start. Now it says, what is the password? So, let's say we don't know. We're just going to say, uh, just because, you know, I do Lion King artwork and stuff, so. Lion King. Sorry, you can't continue the game. Enter again. You're back to the main menu. But say you know the password, so you put type in 
Simba. Enter. What is your name? So it then continues on with the game. And it, you can have it say whatever you want in all these situations. You know, I don't have to go over that. So we are now done that part. Sorry this is taking so long. I might actually make this a premiere. We are now going to start on the next thing. And I want to get started on that pretty quickly, but it will be a fairly quick thing to explain to you guys, I think. So it's going to be, we want it to have a random word. And I'm not sure where you would use this. Like I said, I tend to use it when I'm doing my... Uh, like if I do like a Mad Libs type thing. But then again, you want to kind of put your own words in. So because it's me doing it, I just make up my own game. I put my own choices in and then it picks from them. You know, so it's just kind of fun to do for myself. I'm not sure where you would use it in a game. Maybe if something didn't matter. Like if you were like... I don't know, I'm trying to think. I had one situation before where one of the characters had a child. And it didn't matter the gender of the child. So I put in... Uh, like it would be a randomized whether it was a girl or a boy and it didn't matter so each time it would sort of be different depending on on things just so you also know normally if someone is playing the game and they're seeing unseen text it will it will stop it will not stop based on what word is used so it it feels like you've already seen that text whether it's a different word or not so if you hit the skip button you're going to skip past the new text when it comes to that so let's get to this Right after start is a good time to put it. Uh, we're going to put the dollar sign. And in this case, we're going to do the color of someone's eyes. So you can put any word here. It's whatever word you want to use for it. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to put color. Space equals space renpy dot random choice. And then we're going to do no space. We're going to do parentheses, open parentheses, uh, open square bracket. And then you just start typing in what you want to have the options. So you're going to, well, you're going to do, you're going to do just the single quote and then you're going to type in a word, whatever word you want to have one of the choices be. So I'll just put black. And then you're going to do another uh, single quote, comma, space, single quote, Next option, brown, single quote, comma, space, single quote. Uh, next option will be red, single quote, comma, space, single quote. And the last option, you can have as many as you want. Like I've had huge lists before <laughs> that it can pick from. So I, I'm just doing four just so you guys don't sit here and watch me do this forever because it's kind of boring, I'm sure. Uh, yellow single quote and this time you don't do a comma you're going to do the close square bracket close parentheses and there you go you got we got a random word used so i'm going to go down here and instead the player's name is going to say hi uh my oops my eye color is and we want it to have the word so in this case we're going to do the uh, percentage sign and then open parentheses and then you're going to put this word that you have up here down here exactly the same no if you have no capital up above don't put a capital down below uh, if you do have a capital above put a capital below that kind of thing but it's got to be all one word so And it's as simple as close parentheses and the letter S. And you see how it changes color? That's how you know you got it. My eye color is this. So we're going to put period and uh, quotation marks. And there you go. That's that's as easy as this is. It's that simple to do this one. Um, it's like I said, it's not something you use that often, but it's it's something that you can do. We've done the password, right? I'm going to take the password out. Okay, so we're not going to have the password or the, the... Well, we have to have the name, I guess, don't we? And this is how you can do it. If you don't want the password to show while you're playing and t testing your game, just put all the uh, hashtags or number signs over top of the password. And then all you got to do to get it back again is just take those out. And if you just put those in, you can just go back and just backspace each one. Just one backspace and it will be in the correct position and everything for you. 
So we're gonna go save. Gonna do its flicker. Boom. We're still gonna have to put the name in, but we don't have to put a name in. We'll just make it Nora. Enter. Hello, Nora. Nora says, my eye color is black. Okay. Perfect. We're gonna skip. Be nice. Skip. And we're gonna go, yes, we want to play again. So, boom. Name is, let's have it be Nora. My color is black. Now, again, because we have four options, it, it could keep showing the same option. Uh, yes, we want to play again. Enter. Eye color is yellow. There you go. See? So it will change depending, like each time it loads, it will pick up a different one. And you can have this at different spots. You can have this part at different spots. So say um, you wanted the player to be able to easily go back and, and do this part and have a different color show up or a different word show up instead. Then you can do that. I like to, with mine, put it at the very start and then have something later on in the game happen that it comes up. You know? But anyways, that's all I want to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to do another Renpai one. We're going to get into, well, stuff with this, which is having a character's name already in the game. Um, that it The game comes up with, it will come up with a random character for you. There's it, there, That's the complex one. And like I like to do one complex one and one easy one. So I forget what the other easy one is. But, uh, oh, it's randomized events. So randomized events and having it pick a random character are the two ones I'm going to get into next time with you guys. I'd like to have one more art video before I go away in October, or March. I don't even know what month it is anymore. Um, there's snow everywhere outside, but I still have no idea what month it is. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys will come back and check out more videos from me. Like I said, if you guys have any questions or things you want me to talk about on here, uh, feel free. Like I said, I'm not like super advanced with this knowledge, but I do know some things and I'm totally willing to help you guys out in any way I can. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!